Up, up and away we go with filmmaker Jordan Mayers as he heads for the sky with DJI's small but mighty drone, the Mini 2. Jordan will use the Mini 2's advanced camera and intelligent flight models to capture stunning drone footage in the cold and wintry Cascade Mountains in the heart of Washington State. Inside the DJI Mini 2 is a 3-axis gimbal and a 12-megapixel CMOS sensor capable of capturing 4K footage at 30 frames per second. With video transmission up to 6.2 miles, this ultralight and foldable drone is the perfect package for budding aerial photographers looking to get off the ground. It's a tiny little guy. My name is Jordan Myers. I am a Part 107 drone pilot based out of Seattle, Washington, here in the beautiful Pacific Northwest. Sarah and I are going to go hunt down and try to find ourselves a high alpine lake, and we brought DJI's newest drone, the DJI Mini 2. We're going to try out all the features that it has to offer and see what it can do. I'm just going to start rolling. Yeah. I can zoom in to check that out. Cool. The fact that it's so quiet, perfect for this kind of environment. Especially when you're kind of outside here, you don't really want to be too abrasive to you know, anyone around or nature or anything like that. I'm going to ask Sarah to walk across the pathway here. We'll just maybe try to get a top-down shot tracking with her and then uh, kind of try to just do an easy push in since we got this open valley. So I was about to land, but that moonshot though. I was super impressed with the battery life. I mean, that's a big consideration when, you know, you have to get out to where you want to go get a shot and think of some ideas and get all these different choices. So the fact that you have like 30 minutes of flight time is amazing. Even fighting wind and with it being cold out here and not even having the batteries heated, it's pretty impressive. Uh, right now I'm kind of in the trees down below us. I'm gonna try to go as close as I can in safety and fly through them and try to come up this ridge right behind us to see if we can climb up and see any of the icicles. Got to kind of move slowly though. Let's try one of these modes real quick. Today we had a lot of fun trying out the quick shot modes that the DJI Mini has. Usually moves like that we're trying to do all the time. So the fact that you can just do it yourself and not have to think about it is pretty crazy. We tried Drony, which is this mode where it starts really close up to you and then slowly pulls away and you can go anywhere from 10 meters away to, it looked like 300 meters away. We tried it kind of in a medium shot and pulled super far back and it was pretty awesome. Super easy, just pressed the button and did it itself. It was Sarah's first time uh, trying a drone. She did a great job, it was really easy to use. Rock steady the whole time. Yeah, but that shot's cool. Shadows. Yeah, it looks like a moonshot. Look at that. Oh. No, you're fine. See, it's handling pretty well in the wind. As well as taking a bunch of video, we took some panoramic shots, which is pretty cool. A few jobs ago, I got hired to take 360 shots, and it was kind of a pain having to stitch it all together. And so the fact that you just hit a button, it connects them all right there. You can download it to your phone. I mean, you can get wide angle shots at these locations and have them uploaded. You know, it's pretty crazy. As far as content creators and people looking to get into flying drones, this is the perfect drone for somebody to buy, from the price point to the size to the safety. My advice for anyone looking to try to get into flying drones for the first time would just be to take it slow, have fun. With this new drone, you're gonna have a good time. Don't fly too close to trees or anything. <laughs> yeah, horny <laughs> selfie. <laughs>